Hello, and welcome to Richardson RFPD's Tech Chat. I'm Kirk Barton, Field Application Engineer for Richardson RFPD, and I'm here today with Steve Chenitz, Field Application Engineer for Microchip, and we will be discussing avalanche ratings for silicon carbide MOSFET. Steve, thank you for joining today. Hi, Kirk. Thanks for inviting me. It's good to be here. So, Steve, what is avalanche and why does it occur? Well, avalanche occurs in, in a MOSFET when the voltage exceeds the breakdown voltage of, of that MOSFET. And, and that usually occurs in an inductive circuit. When you build up energy in, an, in a parasitic inductance of a, of a circuit, when you're switching it on or off, you'll get a, a, a voltage spike uh, because the energy in the inductor has to go somewhere. It goes into the MOSFET capacitance. It builds up voltage until it exceeds it's the breakdown voltage of that MOSFET, and that's called avalanche. Okay, interesting. Okay, and how does operating a sick MOSFET at avalanche levels affect the reliability of the device? So there's two failures in, in a MOSFET during avalanche or UIS, which is um, uh, unclamped inductive switching. There's hard failure, um, and that occurs when the um, the, the MOSFET is, is permanently damaged. Um, ways to mitigate that are, are to, you know, especially in silicon carbide is the higher intrinsic temperature of the MOSFET. Mm -hmm. uh, the the um, way the parasitic BJT or, or the, um, the internal MOSFETs uh, gain of that parasitic BJT is very low. The base resistance is, is very low and so that gives it a little bit of an advantage, say, over uh, regular silicon. Um, also, in a properly designed MOSFET, silicon carbide MOSFET, that energy, as you can see from the picture there, is distributed across the entire die, um, which helps to minimize right. hot spots. Th there's also soft failures, which are degradations of certain parameters, such as the uh, leakage current, uh, the RDS on, uh, increases in the RDS on, or, or changes, especially um, decreases in the threshold voltage. Okay. So when it comes to microchips specifically, how do you test avalanche capabilities for your devices? So one of the ways we test it is to put the, uh, apply a certain inductance uh, and a certain voltage, as you can see from this diagram, and build up uh, a current uh, by turning the MOSFET on, that current builds up in the inductor, and then you turn the MOSFET off. You could uh, calculate or, or determine how much energy is in the is being dissipated in the MOSFET by the energy um, that's built up in the inductance. And so we'll turn the MOSFET on, as you can see from the picture there, the, mm -hmm. the uh, dark purple trace um, shows the current being built up. Uh, when you turn the MOSFET off, you could see that the voltage uh, increases, okay, and we'll get to a certain point where the exceeds the breakdown voltage of that MOSFET, and then the energy at that point is dissipated in the MOSFET uh, during this event. So by building up test circuits such as these, we can test each of our MOSFETs uh, for both uh, hard, hard failures, uh, single event occurrences, or for uh, looking at any degradation to the um, the, some, some of the parameters, such as we mentioned, RDS on or threshold for repetitive uh, UIS measurements as well. Okay. So when we, we one of the things we do is we tested the uh, oxide, uh, gate oxide rugginess with repetitive UIS or repetitive avalanche. Uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, stress the, the part. Uh, in this case, we hit it with about 10% of its maximum uh, before failure um, uh, avalanche energy. And we did this about 100,000 times. We looked at uh, things such as the uh, IDSS, which is the leakage current uh, before and after the testing to see, you know, just, just what effect uh, repetitive UIS has on the, on the MOSFET. And as you can see um, from the graph on the left, uh, the microchip parts uh, not only have a, a very rugged oxide, are able to withstand that, but there's virtually no change, for example, in, in the leakage current or the, the threshold voltage compared to uh, many of our competitors' parts. Um, 
and, and so this gives us um, the ability to have uh, show customers the ruggedness of the part and to instill some confidence in our customers um, for the quality of our of our devices. Wow, yeah, that's impressive. Thank you, Steve, for the discussion today. Um, you can learn more about this and other topics on our GAN and SIC Tech Hub. Follow our Ask an Expert link to submit questions relative to design challenges you may have. Thank you for watching.